Hi there, this is Princess Woosh, and today I'm playing Never Alone. Um, it's a game that's on quite a lot of different systems, but I'm playing it on PS4 today. Uh, it's been out for a few years, and I've always fancied having a go at it, but um, I just took the plunge a couple of days ago and bought it in the PS4 sale um, for only about £3.50, which is a really good bargain. Um, the thing that's always interested me about this game is it was... Um, created in collaboration with Inupiat people and it's based on like a, a native Alaskan folktale um, to do with the connectedness between animals and people. Um, I don't know much else about it. I've always loved the artwork and the art style is just gorgeous in this game. Um, so again I thought I'd dive in fresh and see what my first impressions were of the game. Um, one thing I noticed, because this is as far as I've gotten, is this menu. Um, what's really interesting is that there's a menu for looking at some videos to do with the cultural insights of the game. So they've got a whole series of like documentary style videos, 24 documentary style videos um, that you can watch that tell you more about the history of the story, the people who told it, and their connections with animals, things like that. Um, I watched the first one, it was really interesting, nice and short so you just get a little snippet. Um, but yeah, it was good. Um, so anyway, we're going to start the game. Um, it definitely wears its, uh, its Anupiat influences on its sleeve. It wants you to know all about these peoples. Um, yeah, I cannot imagine living in Alaska. Oh, so cold. Um... But yeah, so we can press the big bumper to watch Insights. I'm probably not going to do that, um, just because if you want to play this game, I think that's something you could enjoy for yourself. So the storytelling is really fundamental to this game. I don't want to talk over the cutscene. I'll be quiet. Shuman and the holding I learn. The brassy can get the rock sugar, Shuman and the holy Shurukumagan. Oh, I love the art in this. <gasps> oh no! Oh, wrong! Oh, it's me! I've got to control it! Gosh. Ah. Jump. Oh, okay. Oh gosh, the polar bear has jump as well. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah, climb? Yeah, climb. It's a little tenser than I expected at the start. <laughs> oh, I see the little fox in the background. Help me, fox. I 
Uh oh. Oh no! Oh, it got me. Help me, Fox! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, so you can play in co op mode. Um, I can switch between the two, but if you've got someone else to play this with, you can have one of you as, as the human and one of you as the fox. That's fine. Ah, so I'm now the fox. That's right. Oh, the fox is springy. Oh gosh, no! Can I pet the fox? Can I pet the fox? Oh, it's so cute! His little tail! Looks like a little sausage. Oh, So yeah, I think this is very much a sort of cooperative, collaborative, puzzly platformery type deal. From what I gather. <laughs> definitely filming this at the wrong time of year though. <laughs> this is definitely more of a wintry wintry deal. There's an owl. It's so pretty. Ooh! Wall climb! Little Scrabble. Oh yeah, this is a very collaborative type game. Woo! Yeah. Man. Oh! Blizzard. I would love to have a little fox pal. I have a little cat pal. She's uh, she was right next to me when I started recording, but I think she got bored. She would not save me from any polar bears. She would be gone. Ooh, sliding. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so circles brace against the wind. Couldn't do it like that. Oh, and the fox does it to my heart. Oh, oh. That was not bracing against the wind. That was what happens when you don't brace against the wind. There we go. Stay down. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I was supposed to stand and listen to the story. <laughs> I've been playing too much um, Team Sonic Racing. <laughs> I'm all used to high octane, fast action type stuff. Ooh, spirit. I'm supposed to do something? I mean, last time I jumped in, I drowned. Fox? Oh! Oh, I can ride on it! Oh! <laughs> I was just a bit quick last time. Let's go! Oh, why was I being the human when I could be the fox? <laughs> Come on! Yeah! And over here! Woo! <laughs> oh, that doesn't stop being cute. Right. Um, oh, I can, I can jump off walls like Mario. Oops. Ah. There we go. Stay on the thing. Ah. What are you doing? The fox is being weird. There we go. <laughs> Bye, loser. <laughs> Don't think that's in the spirit of the game. Ooh. Uh, you can't jump on spirits. Oh, I can do that though. Can I get up? Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> that 
and a girl and the fox <laughs> kept each other company. Oh. oh, my little cat's come back. <laughs> it feels right to have an animal with you while you're playing this game. Don't you run away. <laughs> oh, do you see that? Hang on, hang on. Right, let's idle that again. I want to see that again. Give the fox a tickle. I saw you do it. Can't pretend you didn't. Fine. Right, let's continue. Oh gosh. Oop. Oh, that was close. Oop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I'm absolutely terrible at platformers. I just don't have the patience. Oop. Ah, the fox. I'm gonna be the fox because the fox jumps better. There we go. I was prepared that time. Let's continue on. Oh, no, no, no. me kicking my phone. <laughs> Wee! This game is just so pretty. I like the style. Quite simple, but just really nice. Nice colour palette, very cold. Ooh! Oh! I can fit under here! And then I can wall jump! <laughs> Oh, I'm an expert. I don't think it pops up on the uh, on the stream, but I just got a trophy for being a tundra expert. What do I do here? Yep. Oh, I'm making some stairs for Ald. Rubbish at jumping over here. Right, up we go. I want to be the fox again. Let's go. Follow me. Wee! Oh no! Ah, I'm okay. I'm good. It's fine. Didn't drown the fox. I don't. I don't want to drown a fox. But yeah, there's not a lot to say yet, really, because it's oh, oh, it's just quite chill. All right, what do we do here? Some little spirits. I reckon if I get my foxy pal up here. Great. There we go. Oh, you stupid spirit thing. Right. So, I think if I jump on these, it'll lower the, the spirit into some stairs. Oop. Ah, Get back up there. The wind definitely makes it more difficult. Oop. Oh. Ah. <laughs> The controls are a wee bit pernickety. Right, turn around. Oh, are you kidding me? Why did you vanish? Right, stay there. You jump. Now you appear. I'm gonna grip on. Oh. Let's lower you. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. Right, and then the last one. That's right. Get down here. Oop. And now we can all go up together. Oh, am I the girl? I'm the girl. Oh, oh boy, I'm not sure. I can't tell. Right. Is the wind gone? But as soon as I stand up, it'll blow. No, it seems to have gone. It was only there to make my life hard. Right. Back to the fox. Woohoo! I don't think there's enough games where you're a cute little fox. Uh oh. Oh no. This doesn't look good. Oh. Oh no. Getting a fairly rapid succession of trophies in this game. I think it's only a few hours long.
So yeah, it's got quite a dark sort of undercurrent, this this story. There's definitely a sort of destruction and, and loss theme in it. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll give you a hug. Oh. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Can I wall bounce off that? I can't really see, to be honest. It's very dark. Oh, no. No. I got much further that one time. Now I'm stuck. I don't understand. What have you... Are you gonna do something? You just carry on without the fox? Nope, you're coming down with me. Oh, we're both down here now. feel like we can maybe do something. Aha! Aha, aha. So, the fox cannot do everything alone! Oh my gosh, look at his on top of the crate! Oh, I wanna pet it and tickle it and scratch it behind the ears. Now oh, this makes more sense. Yeah, I was scrabbling up at- oop, no, I was too busy talking there. Oh gosh. Can I come under the bottom? Oh no, I can wall- I can do a wall jump. There we go. Right, up you come, lassie. Oh, no. Why, you, why is the camera taking me over there? I can see a rope. I'm assuming I shoved the rope down. Yeah, there we go. Whee. Oh, this is interesting. We're out with the snow. That's a drum. Let's go get that drum. Ooh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, ah, ah, peril. Oh, am I supposed to be on there? <laughs> oh no! Ah! Oh, that was bad. Okay. Um. He's throwing rocks at me, that's not very nice. I don't think my fox can get up that high though. Oh, no! Oh! 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 Hmm. I wonder if he throws rocks and it weighs the, the ledge down. If I move over here. Like that. If I keep staying over here. There we go. Come on, pal. What now? What now? <laughs> yeah, she did after a few uh, a few attempts. Whee! Oh, I've got the drum. Nice. Nice. Right, get out of here. Oh. Where do we go from here? Up here? Yeah, this looks good. You can push. Oh, no, not you. Maybe I just jump up. Yeah, I do. A rope? No. Oh, there's a rope here. <laughs> the, the fox ain't nah, I'm sick of you. Oh! Come on. Do the rope. There we go. I think I actually have to press a button to do the rope. Oh, what? Oh. Right, I know what I need to do. Which button was push that? Nope, that was hide from the wind. I thought it was square. Hmm. There we go. I'm sure I press square. I don't know if it's my controller or the controls for this, but I am finding it a bit um, a bit awkward sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't seem to press when you want it to. Or I might just be really bad and I'm blaming the game. <laughs> but it does feel a bit <laughs> finicky. Hey, here's your drum, pal. <laughs> 
I'll take it. Aw, he's drumming now. Enjoy! Enjoy. Your dance. There we go. So we unlocked another um another cultural video as well, which is nice. Let's have a look. Up here. Oh, wait. <laughs> a rope. That's probably for humans to climb. I can scrabble. Oh, come on. Scrabble there. There we go. Oh gosh. Right. There's no danger I'd be jumping on any of this. Oh, I should be, uh... Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, that's better. That looks way less precarious. Hold. Oh. Hold. Right. Hold. Right stick. Oh. Okay, my bola. I don't understand. I don't even know what I'm aiming at. Uh, hold. I am holding that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So I can only throw it forward. Okay, that makes sense. I thought I could actually aim it, but you just hold the button in that direction and then you throw it. You can't, like, aim it up or down or anything like that. I wonder if I'm supposed to throw it at that shiny thing. Slidey. I'm clearly supposed to do something here. So I can throw it straight ahead. Oh, I can throw it up. I just do it slightly down and then up. Aha! Aha ha ha! That wasn't what the on-screen guide said. <laughs> what it meant was pull back the trigger to charge it and then push it forward. Oh, on, let me climb up here before I make deep insights. Yeah, so if I pull it sort of, um, sort of, I don't know, seven o'clock down, and I send it up to like two o'clock, it goes like that. And if I send it down to about four o'clock, oh wait, no, I can only throw it this way. No, there we go. If I send it down to about 4 o'clock and up to 10. Oh, that was more 11. Ten. There we go. It does that anyway. Okay, so we've got a weapon. Interest. Oh. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Oh my gosh. Oh, right. Let's throw my bola at this. It's going to take a bit of practice to get my aim very good. Right. Let's not jump in a hole. Oh, wind. Oh. oh, get up. Don't fall down the get down. This looks like a job for. Oh, God. No, no, no. Oh. I should have seen the shiny in the air. Uh, get to it. Right. Down. 
Here we go. I don't know if the wind's coming back. I'm just gonna... Yep, there we go. There we go. Oh, big wall. Oh no! Got a little crawl space. Oh look! Does it follow me? Does it follow me? Because I'm like a spirit -y thing. That's adorable. Come on, come with me. Come with me. I'm not gonna fit there. The fox makes very cute little noises. Oh no, wait! <laughs> no, I can just go this way. Like a sensible person. Like a sensible fox. Bring it out for her. Here, I brought you this to shoot. Woohoo! Right. And you get on there. Perfect. The snow's really pretty. It's just sort of in the foreground. It's quite abstract, but. Oh quite abstract but kind of convincing. That sounds really silly. It reminds me very much of real snow, the way it falls and catches the wind. Right. Bye loser! <laughs> Maybe if I get in the right place I can use the wind to get up here. Let's see. No? No rope. Oh, oh, it's you, you big secret bird. Oh, grab on. Right. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna switch. I can get my fox up there quite easily. There we go. And... Oh no, it's the terrible man. I can tell he's terrible by his evil face and bad teeth. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna stop. What? Oh! <laughs> I tried to do the bowler and it didn't work. Just quick practice there. No, come on! It's not the time to be stopping. Right, oh. Ah. Your behavior is threatening! <laughs> Oh, I don't think he's very nice. There we go, I'm getting the hang of that. Woo! Oh, he's carrying on that way. Oh, he wants my bowler. No, it's mine. Does this? You've got like fireballs. You don't need a bowler. He's getting closer. Keep going, Foxy. No. Oh, this doesn't look a good place to be. Oh no. At least we got away from him, I guess. Yeah, that's what I would have said. I'd rather be chased by a man than stuck on an icicle floating out to sea. Right, um, and I think I'm going to stop there because I just wanted to give you a short insight into this game, Never Alone. So my first impressions are, it looks beautiful, which I knew because I'd seen all the promotional art um, and it just looks gorgeous. It just looks a delight. Um, the story's really interesting. Um, it's really interesting. It's got that Inupiat, um folk tale um, origin. 
which is good. I don't think enough games really properly draw on all sorts of different stories and mythoses and um, and beliefs and things like that. It could make really interesting tales. Um, however, I'm finding the controls a bit janky at times. Sometimes I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing and it doesn't really pull it off very well. It doesn't feel as nice and fluid as I would want it to. Um, and also... Um, I, there's not a lot of variation in gameplay at the minute. I mean, I know it's a puzzle platformer and it's giving me that, but some bits just seem quite simple. Like we've been play we've been here for half an hour, um, and it's all been pretty similar, really, in terms of what I've had to do, which is mostly jump on ledges and duck from wind. But saying that, it's only a short game, and it's made by quite a small studio. Um, and I think definitely the uh, the cultural influences probably make up for any technical issues or any sort of lulls in the in the gameplay. Um, and certainly for three pounds, it's definitely worth a shot. Because if you like it, you'll that's fine. If you don't, that's not too much of a big deal. Uh, anyway, so thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you can subscribe to the channel, you can like the video, or you can leave a comment. Um, I always appreciate any of those three. Um, and I hope this has helped you... Well, I hope it's given you an insight into uh, Never Alone and helped you figure out if it's something you'd be interested in yourself or if it's not your cup of tea. Uh, but I've been Princess Woosh. Thank you for watching the video. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!